Hey, Dorina. Ayaka waved at the robot. Already hungry for some food? Or just wanting to relax? Dorina looked at each of them with a smile, welcoming them inside. Giggling, Kawa said, We figured that there's no harm in eating more food, especially if it will make us stronger. Remembering how the dining building had different levels for people able to absorb higher level energy, it just dawned on Ayaka that this place didn't have the same kind of setup. I just realized that the dining area just has a single floor. Are we going to be okay eating here? Ayaka asked the robot. Nodding at the comment, This area is for those not staying in one of the five towers. So the types of food that you can order will be catered to your level based on what we have in the system. Darlina explained. This is why after you take a seat at one of the tables or social areas, you'll need to order your food. Finding out that it would be similar to a sit-down restaurant, Ayaka thought it was a pleasant change compared to the first floor of the dining building. Knowing that they'll have the food brought to them instead of going to the various kiosks was nicer. Where would you like to sit? Darlina motioned for them to select their seats. We were thinking about watching the streams and chatting. Tanaka pointed to the social area. Nodding its head, Darlina said, I'll bring you menus that you can look at. In this building, we also have complimentary refills on certain beverages. Would you be interested? The drink is carbonized soda that's only offered in the Adventurers Guild. Hearing there was a beverage that could be refilled, Ayaka looked at the others grinning. What do you guys think? Tanaka looked intrigued by the drink, nodding. I think I'll have one of those. The others looked at the robot and agreed to try the drink. We have a variety, which you can switch between for no additional cost. It's only one guild point to purchase it, Darlina said. Could you just recommend one and then we'll keep trying new ones? Mizuki asked in a quiet voice. That makes sense to me too, Kawa said. As you wish, Darlina bowed slightly before turning around to head towards the door. Seeing the door, Ayaka figured that was where they cooked all the food and did the preparations. With Darlina going to get their drinks, Ayaka headed over to the nearest social area with others. Checking out the other areas, they were relatively similar. Some had more couches, while others only had cushioned seats. The different arrangements were likely to work with people who wanted to sit next to others or those that wanted to be by themselves as they talked. But for them, this was a social opportunity to get more comfortable with one another. This would mean that sitting at couches made more sense. It would have a more intimate feel. Ayaka sat down on one of the couches. Next to her, Kawa took a seat. Mizuki and Tanaka shared a couch. Glancing at the monitor, Ayaka watched a woman that was relaxing in what looked like a hot spring from how the steam was rising from the water's surface. I wonder what she's talking about. Ayaka wondered. Kawa lifted up her bracelet and went through her bracelet until she found the controls to increase the volume. After killing those monsters, it's nice to be able to relax in the hot spring. What do you guys think? The woman on the monitor looked towards them 